But Nobby being the aggressor. Simple and Boomic in the underpass. Esperanto coming down to meet up with him. Young player, he's going to get the initial headshot. Simple's here, though. Hasn't been able to land anything. And Esperanto's going to follow that up to peek into it. So begin. Now the utility begins. And that should actually let Nobby know where the danger is coming from. And they're not clearing a ramp. No, they're not right now. All the way in Tetris here. Electronic actually getting a little bit worried from uh, apartments, I think. And he looked away just at the wrong time. Boomich coming out with the MP9. Long range spray to take down Hunter. That is a lot of reduction. Oh, oh no! Esperanto! He wanted more out of it. Now, simple! Funny finishing up on auto. That is. Been down. Now they plume in towards connector. Boomich making his way through the smoke to the staircase. And simple still waiting for any, any sign of anyone. Yeah, really want to find out where they're going to come from. Electronic, that's just straight for the smoke. Esperanto, not a chance there. The bomb now being attempted. It's the right angle. And he's, not even, he's actually came off the bomb. And that's the round done. That's yeah. a classic on Mirage, isn't it? Like, you, you actually get the bomb sign, but you somehow still don't have control. I have the intel. This would be a big kill for Otter to get. He gets one tag. Yeah, Nexa fell back. Now it's the MP9, and... He needs some backup. It's coming pretty quickly. Is it going to be quick enough, though? 20 seconds. They're making their way around. Nexa goes for a really wide peak. And Electronic again, a double kill. He is just absolutely out of control in this game. Hunter and Letney. Could they do anything here in the last 10 seconds? The bomb is attempted already. And Flamey will take one. Hunter with the follow-up kill. And Simple up on that box. Oh, what a shot! The last couple of bullets taking down Simple. And now it's on Electronic. He's saved his team multiple times already, but... Again, it's all on him. Hunter gonna go straight for the uh, tap, but there's no kit right now, so he needs to draw Electronic into a fight, and then it's gonna be a long defuse even then. Electronic just waiting, completely steady in that position. He's got no idea, Hunter, where he is. You can see he's checking every single position except for the one that he's in, and there's a triple kill. Electronic got to 21 in just 18 rounds. Yeah, we're an aggressive peak jumping across to the hay card. He's got Hunter out in the open for just a half second. If you peek, but look at the aggression from Esperanto. He's got two again. Much like the first half pissed around in the very same position. He gives double kill and he's able to sneak away and survive as well. But he's going to stick around longer with that smoke to delay things if he can. Even that was a topic yesterday uh, before the Astralis match where people are talking about, well, where's his confidence gone? He's supposed to be sort of the star player of Esperanto. And that's what we mean. That's why that was even a, a thing that people were wondering about because that kind of a fight. He takes the first one, goes right back, follows it up. It's a beautiful double kill. And now they've got a pretty good chance here. Four versus three as Navi try and commit to the bomb site. Boom, which is right there in Eshendi. He's going to beat Otto. And that historically has not been easy to do, but he's going to be a bit quicker this time. Now Nexa peeking in and Boomich will drop him as well. That means Letney is now alone in shadow and just trying to stay alive for the backup to be there. Esperanto, he's already had the double. They're shooting him for the smoke and he's got no chance at all. Esperanto going. Able to save previously. That's, that comes into play now because yes, they lose three players. It would be typically a pretty tough loss to take for your economy, but because they saved the two weapons, they're going to have another full buy again. Those, those save weapons have given them the buffer they need to keep buying up in this next one and not being deficient in terms of utility in terms of their weaponry double up set up sill for crazy 12 to 10. yeah that double up could really be a big deal couldn't it going forward Backup is going to be coming in quick. Esperanto's right there with the M4, and the damage continues. There's the headshot from Esperanto from Kitchen, and he just continues a double kill for him. Hunter also doing his job, and Electronic. I mean, it's all been on him, but this is too much to ask. He needs to go for a one for four here, or one versus four, and Hunter won't allow it. A triple instead, and a great defense being put up there. A very nice defense, and you're right. That grenade, the Molotov combination afterwards, slowing Navi down, and Esperanto is there. He's going to be able to re-smoke it, but still, very limited time for Navi to get it onto the bomb site and put the bomb down. Hiding inside of that smoke is going to be Nexa. Hunter is there as well on the crossfire. Esperanto goes down. There's almost no time. Nexa, he's a genius, thinking about it, and that's the bomb down. A huge disaster. Otto, can they get the bomb in time? I think they can just barely get it. He's holding it down. It's so unbelievably close, and he just barely gets it. That's less than half a second. Molotov on top of Boomich, and he's just going to go straight for it. Now that leaves Esperanto alone on the bomb site. And he does need a lot of backup here. A kill would be huge, and he's going to get it. They don't even check for it. Esperanto now flashing his way into another one, and it could have easily been a double there for him. Instead now, two on two. No, nice shot from Hunter, but he couldn't finish it. And that means Letney now. 
Rifle picked up, and he's going to go for the one versus two here. Yeah, but how does Simple cover him? Oh, he's just put a new bright position. He misses a shot. Uncharacteristic, and there's the follow-up. Flamey bails himself out. A nice headshot. Three kills in the round from Flamey. And a four-to-one lead for Navi, but that got close again. There was about 18 seconds. So if when Simple misses that shot, now the peak comes in from Flamey in front instead. The boost, not quite ready for it. And Simple goes down to Hunter, flanking in from the coffin. 35 seconds here. Esperanto. Electronic planning on the other side. Can he stop him? He's got almost the light, right lineup, but not quite. And the bomb will go down. That would have been the round. Well, now we get a, a treat. Zeus with the AWP and a two versus three to defend this B bomb site. Smoke comes out to allow them to get into the bomb wow. site, and that's actually the worst case scenario for Navi. Both players on the wrong side of the smoke, but Crazy still has to be patient, so the smoke right, might run out. Esperanto has the only kit. It's going to be a guessing game as well if the smoke stays up for just a second longer. Just shooting through the grenade on top. It's a great idea. They're not defusing right now. Almost down. They line up an electronic. And then Zeus to follow it. That was so good. Yeah. Maybe that mid push and the auto peak down mid. We haven't seen a whole lot of different different setups. Let me get one. So does Hunter. But now that they're... A lot of action going back and forth, and Letney staying alive in pit. It's just simple, but he's got time to find this kill and find himself a one on two. The quick scope does not connect, and he gets no chance to clutch that out. That's a solid defense from, Hunt, uh, from Hunter and Letney there. Good crossfire. Didn't catch the first grenade in, but usually one of the, one of the first two flashbangs. In case they peek him, Flamey certainly thinking about it, and he does do it. Electronic goes down, but they're going to avoid the orb at least, and actually. A lot of damage onto Otto. A great amount of damage, which is kind of scary considering he's one of two defenders. And Latney is all on his own. He's going to smoke wood here. He's got to be careful about Boiler. He just wants to get back in the bomb set. He realizes he can't make it. That's an incredible lineup. An incredible triple kill. Latney delivering in spades here in this final round of the first half. And it's just Zoo. Easier time of things. Yeah, it's hard to know. I'm really puzzled now. Well, the puzzle is what do they do from here? The, the tough part is... Because of that emphasis, Flamey's pushed out of B, and he has all the intel that no one is in banana. So four players now defending A. I think Ledney saw that, but it doesn't matter. Seuss with a bit of an awkward repeat. Not going to be able to get out. Still three men inside of the A bomb side. Electronic being one down in the pit, and he's a very strong pit player. Always has been. Otto getting very close to that hay cart. Going to try and see if he can flash into any kind of a kill. Electronic will take him down with the bomb as well. Another triple here for Electronic, and Esperanto's going to drop a quad kill now. He is still so good in this position, 23 overall. Yeah, he's he's a beast, and I think we've kind of we kind of slept on uh, on how good of a player he is in that pit position because we've had so many great examples of it recently. Twists on Liquid, obviously Magus, on Astralis. Those guys have taken kind of the yeah. mantle of being one of the best players. Putting a lot of uh, emphasis on this A bomb side defense, more than maybe you would hope, but it seems to have been the right call. Flamey's gonna get isolated, but Simple's here at the corner with the flashbang. They're all blonde. He holds the trigger. Couldn't get two, but he's done massive damage. Hunter at 42, Otto at 28. One more flashbang over towards Pit. It's a double Pit setup, Boomich and Electronic. This is gonna be so hard to crack open. It might not even be possible. Electronic is playing lights out Counter Strike. And he can just wait and be patient. He's doing everything right now. Otto finally takes him down, but it's still a two on two. Hunter who's been kind of the main man here for Crazy on Inferno, and it's going to be him and Otto to close out the round. Otto with a quad kill, in fact, kind of silently sneaking into the round. And Now, a small gap in there. Small gap in that, which is a bit of a mistake that allows another kill on the cross. So yes. They might actually want to come through that. They might also just not want to mess with it whatsoever in case it's designed. Simple is rotated over as well. Well, they're going to smoke him off, but again, you can take a lot of shots. Oh, he's flashed as well. That's going to make a big difference. They smoke it up in the last second. Flamey with a huge defensive double kill. He's looking for more. He's tapping away inside of the smoke. He gets it as well. Taking down Ledney. That's a beautiful defense. They're throwing them like they're going to walk behind them, and they actually go close to Mini instead. So that's kind of an interesting variation as well. See if they're going to be able to block off Simple. They do throw some smokes exactly designed for his position, but there's a gap, and he's going to exploit it. Flamey inside to shut down Hunter, and now it's looking real good here for the defense. Simple coming up with a kill on the bomb again, and that's going to leave Otto. He's got no chance. Simple with the triple. All of it very smooth, and he doesn't even take a single point of damage. 
Karloff, and they're all having a great time. Six to one. Well, I saw a tweet from um, from Chad uh, when we were in between maps. Oh dear. And I and <laughs> well, it, it was a good one. It sounded like he went he like went down to actually like stand you know close to the Navi side, and he said, I mean his tweet said it sounded stressed. Somehow they're making this work. I think Zeus has found the bomb though. Esperanto is going to come back for it. He's very low, and Zeus finds that kill. Now into a one on one, and Zeus knows all. He absolutely does. I mean, Nexta has a smoke. I don't know if you want to throw that anywhere near this bomb right now. Zeus has a Molotov on the other side. 30 seconds, and I think that's the problem for Nexta is that he can't just wait around all day. Eventually, he is actually going to have to make a move for it. Maybe you do just throw the smoke and try and pick up the bomb and run and see what happens. Now moving forward, 20 seconds. Zeus is going to be having the perfect timing to take him down. A one versus two clutch here for Zeus upon the... I mean, the fans, I guess. Can't really blame them. Electronic, quick to jump into the corner. I've seen that rarely used, but it is really interesting. He's going to be able to hear them quickly. Hunter rushing down. Oh, Ooh. simple. Was that, did he jump? I think he jumped right at the end, didn't he? And now they're going to try and see if they could fight Boomich. He's behind the box. Simple, so quick there to help out. And Boomich also lining up a kill. Whatever the plan was this round, it has already been shut down. Low on health and Simple just easily chewing them up now. A third kill for him there. And Letney's right at the edge, but they're coming in from the other side. He, he's boxed in, and he's going to go down to Super Sousa. 12 to 3 scoreline at the end of the... Definitely no. Yeah, Hunter's here and waiting, and, and he's going to have a lot of pressure put on him. He's looking for electronic to pounce, and that's a quick headshot from Boomich. He's playing so stellar, and he's been hyped up as well after every single round. Turn to the corner, two players, great headshot. The transfer over to Simple, and Nex is going to try and get back into the bomb site. Smoke to buy himself time, but Navi's not committed just yet. That was such a quick kill for Boominch. It looked uh, a little bit funny even. Esperanto trying to use the fact that the smoke doesn't cover everything, but Navi don't really want to fight. A little bit of a fight there as Nexa finds a second Esperanto as well. Oh, this is looking brilliant. Now is a good time to do it as well. Nexa with the third kill. A huge impact on the round is what he's having right now. And Flamey. It's been scouted. Those deagles, he's...